Jim Holly, Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. Well, it's Vegas. It's the final round, but look who's here. Ryan Villapoto, man. Surgery just four or five days ago, right? Yeah, like five days ago, and uh, you know, it was pretty minor. ACL surgeries are, you know, they're getting better all the time, and uh, so did it, fixed it. It's, it's good now, so um, things are moving really quickly. Uh, they had it, I had, had it done right away, so didn't lose much, uh, you know, my muscle and muscle memory and things like that, so that's why I'm up here and able to walk and, and without crutches and knee brace, things like that. Still got to be careful, but, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm good to walk. I think about a lot of the... Uh part that helps you you're physically fit I mean Eldon Baker does a good job with you and, and I, you looked at the press conference so you looked a little surprised that you know hey on, on how fast the recovery is going already yeah you know like uh, obviously being fit helps out uh, helps out a ton and I didn't take any pain meds so that that makes a big difference too so um, you know things are moving quick and, and I should be riding you know as soon as I can be um, but you know I still got to be careful it's still really fresh so um, you know, knee's still a little bit swollen, but, but uh, you know, it, being being physical fit when when you have any type of injury it helps out to you know helps out with the recovery being a lot quicker than normal. You can help out uh, Weimer this weekend, and why I sat his last weekend in, in uh, Salt Lake. I thought, well, maybe he's going to get his first win, but it seemed like uh, halfway through he tightened up a little bit. You going to go over there and talk to him and just say, hey, man, relax? No, I mean I'll be at the truck. I, I, you know, obviously I was at all the races this year, so um, you know, as a rider, you can only take so much. You only can listen to so much of what they have to say. So um, you know, I'm for sure I'll be watching and see if, the, if there's any lines out there that I can, you know, clue them in on, but. You know, it's it's pretty tough to do that. You know, and I think even from my standpoint, you know, I listen to uh, you know line choices, things like that. But but other than that, it's it's kind of up to to me or him. You know, if whoever's out there. I know you didn't put a time frame on when you're going to come back to the motorcycle, but I mean October 20th. It seems far away, but it, it's just right around the corner. Uh, if there's any chance and you're riding and everything's going well, that uh, you'd come back and uh, try to defend, the, pick up another million dollars. Yeah, you know, if everything's going well and everything. Uh, is going in the right direction and where it needs to be. Uh, you know, that's a possibility to, to come out and race the Monster Cup. So, um, you know, we'll see. That's like that's a ways down the road. Like I said, it's only five days out of surgery now. So, um, you know, we'll see as uh, you know when it comes around the two-month mark. What do you do during that time off? I know Eldon's probably got you, you know, on the bicycle and doing other things that you can. But I mean, do you go on a vacation or anything? No, I mean, I'll, we'll probably do some, you know, something like that. But you know, it's just uh, downtime, you know, just cycling and just staying fit, really, and and uh, you know, working on things that we can't work on when we are actually racing. Because, like I said, um, the seasons compound on each other, and there's um, you're always trying to just trying to to get better to stay fit and to stay you know fresh for the weekend and it just it's a never ending cycle and now when when you have an injury you know you have like right now I have like you know six months or so seven months before you really have to start looking at Anaheim one so um, that's a lot of time to really start working on things that that you may not be able to um, when you are racing.